I want to thank the, the thank you, the intelligent and, 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 and smart judges for the recognition of the fine work done <laughs> by the reporters and photographers at the Star. It's their work that allows me to stand before you right now. And whenever I say the word reporters in the next two minutes, I include photographers, photographers like Lu Lucas, who sat over there, who's the smartest and bravest, most courageous, talented, and modest photographer that I've ever met. As an editor, I am lucky, and star journalists are lucky, and our readers are lucky, and Toronto is lucky that the star is run by John Cruikshank and John Hondrick, who are two businessmen. <laughs> two businessmen who are reporters in their bone marrow. They have to make money, but they believe that good journalism is good business. And I, and I, I, never, I never get tired of saying with this, good journalism starts with good reporters, and the truth is there's not a lot in between. Uh, Donna Friesen said before that in her opening remarks uh, that our job is to cover news and break news. And she knows that reporters are everything. Whether you're a national TV news anchor, a radio news announcer, or a website editor, or a newspaper editor, everything in the media is based on reporters' work. You can have all the stealing of other people's reporting by the Huffington Post and her friends, and some of that's okay. And you can have all that amateur free blogging and amateur tweeting and get ready tweeters, because here it comes. It's the professional reporters who are at the sharp end of what we do. And after the battle has been fought and won by reporters, out come the bloggers to pick the pockets of the dead. to pick the pockets of the dead, TM. It's reporters that do the real journalism, TM. Now, I know a reporter in this room who would sleep in a ditch to get a story, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm talking literally here. You just, saw, you just saw in the video a snippet of the Star's Arab Awakening series when the Star shot reporters. In a few days, we shot reporters out of a cannon into all those Middle Eastern countries. And I remember talking to a reporter during the Cairo uprising, and it was 4 a.m. Cairo time, and she was on a Blackberry outside, high up on her hotel room balcony, and suddenly I heard the rattle of AK-47 gunfire. Don't worry, the reporter said. It's only the army, and they're firing up into the air. Wait a minute, she shouted. I'm up in the air. <laughs> and she dodged back into her room and continued briefing me. That woman is a reporter. And can you believe this? Our country's at war in Afghanistan, and our soldiers are being hurt. And our government wants to keep the casualty list secret. Keep our casualty list secret. Up steps a reporter, the star's Alan Woods, who dug and dug and worked and worked his sources, both official and unofficial. And he reported a story that is Canada's shame, the disgraceful treatment of our young soldiers. And you saw a snippet of that in the video, that reporting for our young wounded warriors by Alan Woods, ladies and gentlemen. That man is a reporter. And tonight we were treated to video presentations. <laughs> video presentations of fabulous careers of the CBC's Patrick Brown and PBS's Robert McNeil. Those men are reporters. And I'm going to tell you this, close with this. And it's scary. The 25-year-olds, they're as good as the 55-year-olds. The star's foreign editor, Colin McKenzie, had the courage and the foresight to send a star intern, Jenny Yang, to Chile, to the mine disaster. And that intern won the star a National Newspaper Award for explanatory journalism. The intern, 25 years old, Jenny Yang, she's a reporter. So, If there are any reporters here tonight, Metroland, CTV, CBC, Global, National Post, Global Mail, Toronto Star, it doesn't matter which news organization, I'm going to the bar. If you're a reporter, I would like to buy you a drink. <laughs>